Welcome to my channel from USA News and Entertainment. Love and congratulations to everyone. William Van Allen, August 10, 1883 to May 24, 1954, was an American architect, best known as the architect in charge of designing New York City's Chris William Van Allen, born, died, nationality, Al. Phil Down Pointing Triangle William Van Allen born August 10, 1883 Brooklyn, New York died May 24, 1954 aged 70, New York City Nationality American Alma Mater Pratt Institute, Atelier Masqueray Occupation Architect Practice Clinton and Russell Buildings Chrysler Building in the modern era of design where advancements in technology and construction have enabled architects to build better, faster, and taller, the sky's the limit. Every few months, another headline boasts the tallest residential tower or the newly constructed office building that breaks yet another record for its impressive height. But as time goes on and new projects are completed, trends show that the United States is falling out of the spotlight in terms of being able to claim the title of world's tallest building, and the drawing boards show that no American city will be reclaiming this title anytime soon. New York City's highly anticipated One Vanderbilt was completed only a few weeks ago, and although it was crowned as one of the tallest office towers in Manhattan at an impressive height of 1,401 feet, it can't begin to compare with the mega-tall buildings, defined as standing at a minimum of 1,969 feet. In fact, only one building in the United States is consistently featured on the CTBUH's top 10 list, One World Trade Center, which stands at 1,776 feet, a symbol of the year that the country's Declaration of Independence was signed. So what's behind the change in the lack of super-tall buildings, and will the United States ever aim for their own megastructure in the future? Research shows that the tall building decline may have contributed to rising construction costs, limitations placed by building codes, and fluctuating market demands. The shadows that are cast across the urban landscape still cause an uproar from city preservationists, and have drawn protests by community boards, critics, including Warren St. John who wrote a piece about it in the New York Times, and organizations who claim that residents should have more say in the accidental transformation of New York's skyline, should more tall buildings be built. Another reason behind the lack of tall structures is due to shifting market conditions that drive the type of buildings that developers seek to construct. While tall buildings were once solely reserved for office space, more sites are being transformed into mixed-use buildings that combine a multitude of programmatic elements for a greater return on investment. Office space, condominiums, hotels, and retail stores are often combined into one development. Although residential buildings are seen as more valuable the taller they are, the market doesn't demand multiple buildings that reach more than 60 stories high. 432 Park Avenue, which opened in 2016 and is the tallest residential building in the world, sold out its units for over $2 billion a price that many can't afford. Its 95th floor penthouse carries a price tag of over $80 million. For now, New York City, or any other American city doesn't seem to have their hopes set on stealing the crown as the world's tallest building any time in the near future. As construction costs soar, building codes limit how tall towers can be, and the changing market dictates what the real estate market needs, America may not be responsible for large shifts in the world's skyline.